In today's video, I'm gonna give you a look into my process as I paint this watercolor landscape. In just a moment here, I'll tell you about my inspiration for the painting, a bit about my supplies, and be sure to stay tuned until the end where I tell you my number one thing that I learned from this painting. Hey there, and welcome to my art studio. My name is Kim Everhard, and I create watercolor art inspired by nature that fuels your inner adventure and gives you a connection to the outdoors in your daily life. If you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe because I upload videos about every couple weeks. At least that is what I'm going for right now. I will definitely have another one up in two weeks because I'm working on a really fun series right now. Um, and if you are interested in any of the products that I use to create my paintings, like paintbrushes or the paints that I use, then check out the link in the description box below where I list all of my favorite art supplies. And all of that being said, let's get started. For most of my artwork, I paint from images that I have taken. This particular painting was inspired by a place along the trail in Dali Sads, West Virginia. I went backpacking there about a year ago and while hiking the 22 mile loop, we came across several awesome little streams and rivers that we had to walk across or even ford at some points. I love these quiet little streams. They are so calm and peaceful. And my idea with this painting was to capture that feeling of serenity and calmness that I felt in that moment and just the beauty of this little spot in the woods. I'm not gonna get super technical here, but I'll tell you a little bit about the brushes and paints that I use. So I use uh, synthetic sable brushes for a lot of this painting, and those are what I use all the time. The brushes that I use are called Princeton, and this they're the Neptune series, and I really love these brushes. They hold a lot of water, but they also come to a really sharp point. So they're great for doing lots of leaves and layers of foliage because you can hold all that paint and so you know you don't have to keep going back to the water or the paint to fill up your brush there's just a lot in there and you can just paint as much as you need to the one that i used for this painting was a size six quill i used some uh, just other basic watercolor brushes that are a little bit stiffer for the more detailed stuff and then the paper I use is a Canson cold press 140 pound watercolor paper. There's a link in the description below that is my kit page where I uh, have all of my links to my favorite supplies. It's kind of like Pinterest except for uh, products that I use. Um, so those links are affiliate links just so you know. So I do get a percentage of that and that just helps support me as an artist. If you're already thinking of getting those things, that is a great way to help me and support my artwork. So this is actually the first painting in a series that I'm doing called Peaceful Wanderings. This will be a collection of five paintings that are inspired by places in nature that have given me peace and tranquility. And through those paintings, I want to inspire those feelings in others. The paintings will be released on April 28th, along with prints of each painting.
We are almost to the end of this painting. Thank you so much for watching all of this. I hope you've enjoyed it. So in the past couple years, I since I started pursuing watercolor painting professionally, with each painting, I learned something new. My biggest lesson from this painting is this. Planning is key. For this painting, I created a step-by-step -step plan for the layers of the painting and I wrote that plan out on paper and I stuck to it. I also made a color palette out and had all those colors mixed and ready to go when I started the painting and just having all those things ready helped me to stick to a plan and with my vision in mind I worked towards that vision and this just helps the painting not to get muddy when you're working with watercolors it's really easy to lose your whites because that is the bottom that is the page that is the first layer and you have to leave spaces where you just don't touch but you have to plan that to keep those wonderful white spots so plan 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 when you are painting with watercolor i hope that you found this little lesson, this little takeaway helpful. And if you want to see the step-by-step -step plan that I made, that's in my blog post linked below. Thank you so much for watching this week's painting. Hopefully I'll have another one up in two weeks. That will be the next in this series. Be sure to see the new collection of paintings and art prints when they come out on April 28th. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment with your favorite hiking spot. I am always looking for new places to go. Have a great week until I see you next time.